Hey everybody, what's up? I feel the need to do some sharing of my little collection that I got going on here. There's everything at a glance, for the most part. Got all kinds of different drip tips. You know, whatever you might want. Stainless steel, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I like green. Got green on another mod over here next to me. Little swirly ones and kind of cool. I like using it though. A couple different clearizers, cardamizers. Don't necessarily use any of them. Like the Kanger Evod, not too bad. Pro Tank 2, really liked that. Ended up picking up the Pro Tank 3. Not impressed with it. Only difference at all between the two and the three is the little coil. It's a dual coil, and for some reason, mine has to be like primed. It takes like three seconds of power to it before it finally starts cooking up. This little smoke tag PBC V1 version one, whatever that stands for. Not bad. I used it on Halloween on my black SID mod, but it got really hot down here at the bottom, so I haven't used it since. Uh, my K100 mod that I bought came with these cardamizers and this little wannabe drip shield. Not really a drip shield though. This thing, you know what, I'm not even sure who makes it. It's a V-Core 2.0. It sucks. Somehow there's supposed to be liquid up in the top chamber and down here. And you're supposed to try to keep a certain amount from what I told in each one. It sucks. I can barely even hit the damn thing. This is another little clear miser. Card miser that's burnt out. Pretty much nasty. In my opinion. And a little low resistance atomizer, which I never really got into using these. I kind of went from my ego straight to some other mods. Never really messed with those kind of atomizers. Got a couple different little decorative tanks for my pro tanks. I got the clear, the red. Oh, this one. Oh, this one's charcoal. Or, no, this one's supposed to be blue. Although it isn't blue. Maybe when it's empty it looks blue. This one's charcoal, I guess. Handy little tool. Comes in handy. I think it came with this. Which is the Phoenix version 5 or 6, I believe. It's a... Uh, Really loose fitting, excuse me for a second here. The cap comes on and off very easily. I don't like how far down. Like it, the idea of the liquid being able to sit in there and kind of not have to drip quite as often was all right, but the whole thing tastes like stainless steel. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. Couple squids I messed with. I think that's what they call them. Well, it's like octopus, mini octopus, RBAs. Ah, uh, what do we got here? A couple more batteries. The 18650, 350 that came with my K100. I lost the original one, which sucks. Left it in a taxi cab. I got this bad boy charging. A couple boxes of extra coils for the Pro Tank 3, which now I kind of regret buying because I don't really like the Pro Tank 3. And also some more for the Pro Tank 2 and some extra baggies down there. It's because for some reason I save baggies. Then we got the green silver bullet. Love this guy. Mr. Grim Green at GrimGreen.com is the one that turned me on to this. Fantastic mod. Sid, pretty cool. Ordered it online. But if you notice, it doesn't say Sid on it anywhere. 
That really upset me. Not cool. Then I'm really partial to my juice flavors. Oh, there went that. I don't know if you can see that. Purple worm. Usually stick with that. Shout out to GNS Vapor. This one came from their North Store. We got Purple Worm. Uh, sweet Tart. This one's 12 milligrams. 100 BG. Beetlejuice, which this bottle doesn't taste right to me, so I've kind of yet to crack into it. It's been here for a little while. This... I won't name the store on this one, but I, the only reason I bought it was because I spent a half hour checking out their juices and didn't like any of them. This was the best one, and I still don't like it. But I bought it anyway, just to be a good sport. Got a little grape that I still bought from one of my, from my first bought, my mods. Some dead bear, they call it. Not a huge fan of that either. Charles. Which I believe was made by a guy named Charles. His flavor. This is good. Gonna need to pick up some more of that. And this is another one of those random places that I just went in to kind of shop around and wasn't a fan of the selection of juice. So I just bought, this was the smallest one they had, 15 milliliters. So I've got that. This comes in very handy. I have a Inakin or Inakin Ucan coming in the mail sometime that will replace this but this comes in very handy for dripping this is my current favorite toy it's a K100 mod in black with the Nimbus I keep calling it Nimbus clone for some reason that doesn't ever sound right when I say that it's got a very ugly coil in it at the moment probably needs to be changed that's not going to focus. Yeah, but it's in there. Dual coil. I don't have an ohm reader. That's also coming in the mail. But it's three wraps of 28 gauge canthal on some echo wool or eco wool. Seems like everybody seems to pronounce that one a little differently. Then I got some goodies up here. What have we got in this box? Now, this is what the ProTank 3 came with. That's what their new coils look like. Notice the little dual right there. There's, a, there's two coils on top of each other. Otherwise there's absolutely no difference between the Pro Tank 2 and the Pro Tank 3. And I got some cotton balls in here, some ribbon wire, a little bit of 28 gauge canthal, and some 2 millimeter echo wool. Which I would kind of prefer to move up to the three, but they didn't have any in the store, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I got a couple extra chargers sitting up here. I got the U can coming in the mail. I really like this mod, so I bought a red one also, which is coming in the mail. That one will be the K101, slightly different style. And an ohm reader. And I'm currently in the process of trying to decide if I want to go all out and order the Helios and the Kronos mod. Possibly the Titan. I guess I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, that's pretty much my vape experience here so far. It's slowly growing. Anyway, might have been kind of a boring video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a little fun checking out someone else's stash from time to time. I'll let you know if I ever get anything more. Thanks, guys.